What's up guys? Graham here. Finally, some Reaver gameplay. You guys have been asking me to post gameplay footage of the builds I've been posting. And I've really wanted to, but man, I've just been working so much. It has been insane and finding time to actually make the videos and post them up has been pretty difficult. But hopefully I'll get more of them up and you guys can see some of the gameplay footage. I still haven't posted anything of like the Warlock build or you know just now posting Reaver and I haven't posted any of my Marksman Warfronts or any of that so I'd like to get to that. <laughs> See this uh, Warfront here, I, I, I knew that guy was going to chase me. They always do. If I go up on that middle platform and jump down, people are going to chase Grim. It, it never fails. And people chase me in about every situation. If, if somebody is running their flag or something, they will turn around and chase me all the way back to the flag's point of origin a lot of times just to hit me for some reason people want to kill me so bad in these war fronts and i mean i got entire armies of people running after me sometimes as i showed in past videos where you seen the entire team come to where i was at uh in a codex match and it was just insane that they all chased me like that but i'm becoming more well known in the game and people like to I guess they like to try to kill the Grim, but that's all right with me. It makes it more challenging and I enjoy the challenge and it's all about me trying to dominate people whenever they're trying to dominate me. So it's very, very fun for me if people go out of their way and try to kill me, but it always surprises me. As you've seen in uh, like one of my recent videos, I said, oh my gosh, everybody is targeting me and it's something to get used to, but I'm getting used to it slowly but surely I'm getting used to it and uh, it's not surprising me as much but yeah it, it's all about me versus them though it is as long as they're targeting me that means I'm probably targeting them so that's that's fine but I'm hoping to get more gameplay footage up I know you guys are wanting to see some uh, pyro gameplay also marksman uh, I posted some Ranger gameplay, but I haven't posted very much of it. Uh, I still haven't posted, uh, let's see, the Warlock build. I know I haven't posted any of that. See, what's basically happening is the weekend videos are a big deal to me. I, I always consider my weekend videos the ones that I put a lot of work into. I, you know, if I post a, a build or something like that, that means that I've been asking a lot of people about their builds. I've constructed a build of my own or you know I'm using somebody's but I had to test it out a lot before I feel comfortable posting it and uh, so I'll run you know days worth of war fronts sometimes in order to test out builds um, if I if I don't do that kind of extensive testing it's usually because I've consulted somebody that I really feel like knows the spec and I'm not going to get bad information from them and I don't have to test it as much because I know they know what they're talking about. And that's always nice whenever I get to relay that kind of information to you guys because that's usually coming from somebody that dominates in war fronts and you know the knowledge that they have I'm able to pass on to you guys and also I absorb it as well so I get to play the spec the way that the pros play it so to say. So, and I'm just watching this Reaver footage here, it makes me think about how strong the spec is. If you guys have not been playing Reaver, you really need to because Reaver is so strong right now and it's so easy to play as well. So it kind of reminds me of like, almost like the Paragon builds, like where Paragon can just blow up people and it doesn't use very many uh, buttons or anything like that. Now Paragon is very difficult and it's about mobility. Now a lot of people kind of bash builds or whatever or even the PvP in Rift because it's so macro heavy and all of that. But the thing is, is that for me, PvP is mainly about movement. It's about line of sight and it's about maneuvering around your opponents to where 
they're not going to be able to hit you, but yet you're going to be able to hit them. And there's a lot of things that you need to focus on whenever it comes with movement. If I'm, you know, going into a group of players, I need to keep in mind exactly where I need to run if I need to line of sight somebody. Say there's a fusillade about to hit me or something. I need to be able to cut that off and stop it or else, as you see, a viral stream going. If somebody starts casting that on me, I have to think about where I'm going to go or how I'm going to interrupt it. And that's all about movement there and especially in melee builds a lot of the interrupts are melee range so you have to know where you're at and position yourself right and usually in uh range classes you don't have to worry about that as much which makes it much easier to play range which makes reaver so easy as well and reaver is very good at dominating casters in general now is it going to out dps uh like a pyro or something no a pyro is going to blow you up if you try to go face to face with them but reaver is the range the anti-range spec because it can stand back it dots up a whole area of people and they can't just stand back and cast at you because that just opens it up to where everybody can be uh, rushing in and killing the enemy team since they're debuffed with their heals. The healers aren't going to heal as well. The people aren't going to receive as much healing. They're all taking damage. I mean, just a lot of good stuff. It makes me think of almost like a sad build that it's AOE silence and people and, you know, craziness like that. And I wish people had run a uh, sab a little bit more in Warfronts uh, because they think it's only a CQ build, which I understand that, but there's so many war fronts that there's just packed full of players in one spot almost like a whitefall steps or a uh port scion or something like that and it seems like i get those two more than anything lately but it would be nice to see a lot of variation in specs and that's one of the reasons why i made the speed warlord build if you uh have seen that yet it's all about having fun and playing something a little bit different than the cookie cutter stuff because if you're anything like me, you're pretty tired of seeing all the Inquisitors. And that's all I seem to be seeing. So I'm ready for that to be over with and start playing some rather unique builds. I know I'm going to be posting a Bard build this weekend. And that will be a little bit different than what you're probably used to seeing in Warfronts. And I'm, I'm not used to seeing that as well. I've been doing a lot of research on the Bard builds. And hopefully I'll produce something very, very good for you guys. It may not be what you're used to seeing, but it will work. Trust me. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as usual, my name is Grim, And I will see you next time.